What's up, nature freaks? What's going on? Dave and Jeremy here, coming at you from one of our favorite places on the planet. As if my shirt already hasn't given it away, we are in the Florida Everglades, as far south as you can possibly travel before hitting the Florida Keys. That's right. Now, we're going to be filming the largest reptile in the United States. And no, surprisingly, it's not the American alligator. The only other native crocodilian species to the U.S. is the American crocodile, and it is a beast. That's right, and you know, unlike the American alligator that inhabits fresh water and is typically found throughout the entire state, the American crocodile is found in brackish water at Florida's southern tip. That's right, so get ready for this supersized slap in the face. Yeah. Nature in your face! The American crocodile inhabits brackish and saltwater habitats and is found in coastal mangrove wetlands and canals, unlike the American alligator, which is more closely associated with freshwater swamps. American crocodiles can get huge. Adult males can grow 14 to 20 feet in length. They can weigh more than 1,000 pounds. Now, if you look at the narrow snout and the large armored scales, even the powerful tail, it gives this animal a dragon-like appearance. Yeah, it's easy to imagine this beast lunging from the water, grabbing a large mammal, dragging it under, just like a Nile crocodile would. Well, although the American crocodile will occasionally take larger animals, the narrow jaws and pointed teeth are designed to grab and hold smaller prey. Exactly, and that's why fish make up a large portion of their diet. They'll even consume turtles, just crushing the shell with little effort. Snakes are even on the menu. Yeah, we filmed this eastern diamondback rattlesnake unknowingly taking a huge risk as it swam across the croc-infested canal. Even with its potent venom, it poses no threat to a large crocodile. Unless you're familiar with the species, crocodiles and alligators, they can be pretty hard to tell apart. They both have the osteoderms, these bony plates that cover their entire body. They also have ears, eyes, nostrils on top of the head. Now some of the features that set them apart would include the shape of the jaw as well as the skin color. The crocodile snout, it's more narrow and pointed, often described as looking like the letter V, whereas the alligator snout, it's much more rounded. It has almost a U-shaped appearance. Right, as far as the color goes, crocodiles, greenish gray, from hatchling to adult. Alligators, however, they hatch out black with yellow banding. As they mature, those yellow bands, they fade away, leaving the black color. But I'd say the easiest, most prominent feature to separate the two has to be the position of the teeth. For sure, the crocodile's teeth, they're visible when the jaws are closed. Now, if you look at an alligator's bottom teeth, they're hidden when the mouth is closed. Now, that's because they fit into a pocket in the upper jaw. There's also a large fourth tooth in the lower jaw of the crocodile that protrudes up above the upper jawline. Even though they're highly aquatic, crocodiles do occasionally leave the water to bask. Now, this helps to warm up their body. It aids in digestion. Often while doing so, their mouth is wide open. It's a gape. And now this might appear as a threat display or even as a sign of aggression. Yeah, but this is simply a way for the crocodile to regulate its body temperature. It is not a form of aggression. It exposes blood vessels in the mouth to cooler and warmer air. American crocodiles typically go out of their way to avoid humans and will quickly submerge or retreat into the water when approached. I am only a few feet away from one of the most powerful jaws in the animal kingdom. This is one old and massive American crocodile, definitely a male, but I'll tell you what, this is the only crocodile species that I would ever approach this closely. Now I've filmed Nile crocodiles in Africa, saltwater crocodiles in Australia, Morlitz crocodiles in Belize, but those crocodiles tend to be much, much more aggressive for some reason. This species rarely, if ever, attacks humans. Now, having said that, I would recommend no one, kids, if you're listening, don't ever approach even an American crocodile. I can't believe this is the biggest American crocodile that I've ever seen. Why? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I guess I spooked him a little. Wow. <laughs> Bonus. That was incredible.
Well, we hope you guys enjoyed our bite-sized footage of the American crocodile, as well as learning that the American alligator is not the only crocodilian species here in the U.S. And if you did like it, show some love, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, click on the notification bell, and in the comments, let us know if there's a species that you would like us to highlight, maybe you want to learn about, or you've just never seen a video done on it. We'll get out there and see what we can do. Well, I guess it's time to say, see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. That's a wrap. So we hope you enjoyed this Saturday's Slap in the Face. Beep. <laughs>